headed over to work on the charger for the first day at the body shop and I'm really excited because today I'm gonna line up all the doors, get everything 100% lined up, then start getting all the inner structure ready, getting the inner structure for the charger wide body all modified, and also getting that stuff mounted in, get that foam out of there, get it spot welded on, try to get as much as I can done today. I had to run over the junkyard because I forgot to pull the door lock actuators out of the rear doors on the charger. So just did that. Now we can line all the sheet metal up with the doors, get everything 100% lined up before we start spot welding stuff together. Earlier what I was doing when I cut these pieces out was actually modifying this to make them wide body. So the wide body ones are just cut up a little bit more just so the wider wheels clear and they don't rub when you go over bumps and the suspension travels. So really all you have to do is really just follow this line. There's a notch right here. And you can see that notch right there and you just kind of follow it up. And on the driver's side, it's a little bit different. You don't want to go all the way to the line up here, but on the passenger side you do. And then down here, you pretty much just curve it and there's that little tiny, um, there's like a little lip. You just want it to curve into that. And that makes these 100% usable for the wide body. And then you don't have to actually buy the pieces. And like I said before, the reason why I did buy the pieces was because I thought they were gonna be the whole, the whole shebang, which they're definitely not. They don't have the piece that comes all the way down here. Um, the whole back is fine, but as you can see, I just modified them exactly the same. This is the passenger side one. So like I said, it actually goes up into that lip because the lip is a little bit smaller. So just notice that. And if you guys are gonna modify yours, just uh, make sure that you just, on the passenger side, you come up to that little ledge or that ledge right there. And then uh, it just comes down. You can still see that ledge. You also need to put a notch right here for a clip. And then uh, it's just pretty much all it needs. So they could be wide body.
me and Josh have been working on the charger all day and the passenger side is 100% lined up and I'm really, really excited how it's coming out. It's just really nice to be able to see it with all the body lines just lined up and look at that. Look at those body lines. So one thing I need to do, or me and Josh need to do, is actually fix this gap right here on the rear door because it's a little bit too far back and up here, everything is good. I put the side skirt on, the gaps are all good there. Another good thing is this rear door opens and latches just like factory. So I'm just, uh, it's just coming together. I'm really happy that I did pull this whole piece of inner structure, inner structure from the charger, how I did it. It just slipped right in, all the spot welds perfectly lined up. And what we did, he actually showed me this and I've heard it from a few people, but using self tappers to line everything up and then you can go and plug weld it. It's a lot easier than tack welding it because if you tack weld it, you have to break the tack welds. It's just a bigger pain. So if you used self tappers, you can just use, I have three in here and a clamp up here holding that stuff together. Together, but uh, it's just a lot easier to adjust panels. If this latch wouldn't have lined up the first time, I could have just pulled the self tappers out, adjusted it a little bit, and then just gone from there. And another thing with these latches on the chargers, they do not adjust. So this doesn't adjust, this doesn't adjust. So if it's not perfect, it's, uh, it's gonna be a big problem. So I'm just really glad that the door closes as it should in 100%, um, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't bind, it doesn't make any noise and everything lines up from the, uh, the front to the back. Another thing, as you can see, this gap right here is a little bit tight, but that's because back here isn't spot welded and this is the old quarter panel. We're not using it, I'm just using it for mock-up, but if I push it, you can see that gap increase. So really just need to move this door just a hair forward. I had to drive over to a Dodge dealership to make sure the charger body lines are in the correct position. So they have a charger right up there. Let's go check it out. So just came over to the dealership. I'm glad I actually did because the body lines, we have the door set a little bit too far back. So I borrowed some cards, some uh, business cards. What you can do is stack them. They're like a mil, usually around a mil each. And uh, I'm gonna just kind of figure out what's going on here. And then I could get mine all lined up, but I'm really glad I did that. That's probably why that back quarter panel line is a little bit far back. So all the way around, it's pretty much eight business card thickness. The front fend of the door, I think is like four, but yeah, now I know. So I could adjust these doors forward on mine and uh, that will make a lot more sense because that core panel was really tight in the back. Really glad that I went over there and checked to make sure that my body lines were in the correct position because they are a little bit off, which makes sense because the quarter panel to door, the quarter panel to rear door fitment is a little bit tight and I just want everything to line up 100% perfect or as close to perfect as I can because you can't get everything to line up perfectly, but you can try. So I'm glad I did that. Gonna go back to the shop. Me and Josh could reline up all the doors and uh, just kind of go from there. And this will give us a very, very, good spot to go off of so when we mount the core panel we know that it has to be i think those are a mil each so eight mils gap for the doors and the rear quarter panel
Cameras on the driver's side and the passenger side are now lined up on the charger. And it's just really nice to see the rear piece of outer skin for the Magnum with the hatch, everything lined up back there. So what I was doing was actually trimming this piece. I'm probably gonna trim it some more. This is the fuel um, filler, I guess, where the quarter panel kind of clips or glues on. And this is where the fuel door goes, but it, uh, it sticks out a little bit further than the Magnum one does, I believe. So I may actually have to trim this piece back so all of this actually lays in there. And it may just, it may just need to kind of get pressed in there. But I'm also gonna have to, me and Josh are actually also gonna have to make the quarter panel kind of line up with this. So what we're kind of thinking about, we kind of looked at it on the other side, was the, uh, so how this line goes right here, it's a little bit higher on the Magnum than it is on the charger. As you can see right here, this quarter panel is actually pushed up a little bit because I have it sitting on top of the piece of Magnum outer skin. And uh, it does, it does the line does kind of sit a little bit like a quarter inch higher or maybe even, maybe even half an inch higher, but it is uh, definitely needs to come down. So what I'm gonna do is actually cut this piece off all the way down and then we can make this quarter panel from the charger just kind of roll into the magnum frame and uh, or the the magnum skin as well as uh all back here we're gonna have to kind of just make it all kind of flow in and i still need this ledge right here because the rear quarter window does sit in there there isn't a frame or anything it does just glue in but it still needs that ledge so it doesn't look weird when it's sitting in the you know when the window is actually sitting in the skin on the car it doesn't have it's not overhanging or anything so um i think what we're going to do is actually just pull this and just make it kind of flat so it just rolls into it and i think that'll look really good especially up here and then i could use most likely i could end up using um pieces of the magnum window frame and the 300c window frame to make this window frame on both sides for the rear doors but it's really nice seeing the doors actually lined up they latch they close the gaps are all nice and i'm really glad that i went to the dealership to make sure all the gaps were going to fit because they were quite a bit off so up here you can see that the gap is all nice it's all um where are they at i had i think seven business cards thick was uh was the gap i'm not sure how many mils that is i think it's like seven mils a mil of business card or something like that but yeah now we have that i'm gonna finish cutting that get all that stuff so it fits really glad how this thing is coming out and that's actually progressing pretty quickly should have the uh, core panels at least self tappered by the end of the week if not plug welded on but i'm gonna end the video here if you guys do like the videos make sure to click the subscribe button thumbs up throw a comment below as always see you guys next time